Well, it's that time of year. It's Thanksgiving, and uh, you know you should take a little bit of time to recognize what you're thankful for, even when just playing a stupid game for recreation. I am thankful for <laughs> good invaders that give me jump scares. <laughs> no idea this guy was here. He scared the crap out of me when he showed up next to me. Uh, so he's here. He's obviously ready to go. Just trying to get my uh, my talismans right and get rid of that. Uh, get rid of the cannon because that ain't going to help in a 2v2 situation. So we're trying to figure out which way to go here. He decides that he's going to go up that way. I wanted to see what we're dealing with and buff up a little bit. Next thing I know, homeboy's already up there right in the mix of things, and he's ready to get his hands dirty. So uh, I do what I can to help him. I was a little nervous that that bubble was going to hit him. Thankfully, the way it worked out, it didn't. Um, so we got a little bit of an overleveled phantom here, and the host trying to see what's going on shoot a bubble over at the host take him out next thing i know i'm getting gravity back into that guy this is a little chaotic i didn't know quite what was happening but got a good host uh or not a good host good invader buddy he's happy he's cheering everybody's thrilled what a good time so uh yeah thankful for a good invader co-op because so often you get invaders that are supposed to be helping you sometimes they just attack you sometimes they're attacking you on purpose sometimes they're just careless and uh sometimes you know who knows what they're doing uh this one here thankful for something a little bit different we get a 3v3 uh, 3v1 they're involved with the uh you know the enemies of the level so send that big cannon down there the cannon of Hyma, try to get him out of there and in this case i am thankful for gravity it <laughs> knocked this dude off the edge they're still spamming attacks at me getting a little bit dangerous but uh your host fell to his death man i don't know what you're still attacking me for you should be mad at gravity not at me that uh that clearly wasn't my fault at all <laughs> so uh you know yell at physics <laughs> uh yeah anyway uh this one here you know we got another group you got this guy trying to hide out they were trying to set up an ambush on me but um if you know me i'm i i try to play careful i don't like getting ambushed i like making the ambushes uh there was actually about three minutes of me hiding with concealing veil and running around and shooting these guys and repositioning um didn't want to bore you guys with that, so I trimmed it down a little bit to uh, the shot before the fire start, before the fight started. Uh, that last shot there, honestly, I thought I was going to be able to keep messing with him. Um, I figured every time I shot him, I repositioned, and they would catch on to it. So I figured if I took that last shot and didn't move, not moving would be the, the way to stay hidden, because... You know, if I keep moving, obviously, you know, look for me somewhere else. But they just kept running, <laughs> kept running right to where the bullet came from. So uh, they found me because I didn't move that time. Anyways, you got this guy. He's got some dragon spells. He's uh, got his rivers of blood. He's got the, um, you know, he, he, he's got a bad habit of pressing L2 one too many times. So uh, I caught him there with the parry after he hit me, took him out. Um, I actually wasn't trying to parry him right there. I wanted to send the pebble at him. Um, but anyways, the the big boy's down. He died. Now I got the host here. He's casting a little carrying grandeur. He's having fun. Uh, try to get him with a bubble. But uh, next thing you know, <laughs> in comes the big boy dragon. And he thought he was going to steal my kill, but I took it from him. Went over to give him a little bit of a tea bag. The dragon didn't appreciate that I was rude and uh, tried to teach me some manners with that uh, that glintstone magic fire breath. So uh, I apologize on behalf of the dragon. It wasn't okay to tea bag that poor guy. Uh, <laughs> next thing we got the rune strewn precipice. The guy's uh, you know he's summoning. I think he's just summoning for the boss fight. But he's got dual Naginata, so immediately you don't like that. But, uh, you know, people are going to play how they're going to play. Next thing I know, here comes another summon behind him. Didn't expect him coming. Um, wasn't trying to parry there. I got a little mixed up. I wanted to send the mist at the top so I could buy some space. 
But uh, this guy follows me down the elevator, and so did Braggart. Apparently, you can see he died, <laughs> uh, so he just fell off the edge. This is another case where you know we're just thankful for gravity. Took the host out, and uh, unfortunately, uh, not the host. We took out his summon, and unfortunately, the host he uh, he decided to run into the boss fog to disconnect. Um, next one here, you got some people early game at uh, Castle Morn. So we're going to toss some fireballs at them, trying to get their attention. Uh, you know, maybe you can catch them near the ladder, on the ladder, just, you know, free aiming them. I'm just a little off my, uh, little off my game on the free aims today. So uh, tried to get them so they'd fall down the ladder, did what I can. Figured at this point I should have them angry enough that they're trying to fight me, but... Um, I don't know, I guess he just really wanted to go talk to the NPC up there. So I uh, bust out the cannon real quick to see if I can get lucky. And um, again, I would like to give my sincere gratitude towards gravity. See you later. Quick little shot, knock him off the edge, and that invasion is over. Um, <laughs> I just love gravity so much. Uh, sending people off the edge has to be my favorite thing. And... Um, Sincerely, the thing I'm maybe most thankful for in this game is the concealing veil. So, come creeping along here, trying to see what's going on. We got two hosts just hanging out, waiting for the invader. Uh, so, I figure I'm going to try to sneak up here. And uh, I see there's a hunter coming, so now I know it's going to be a 3v1. And one thing that drives me crazy is you walk off a tiny little edge and you stop crouching, you stop being invisible, and all of a sudden you get seen. So, um, I don't know where the hunter is yet. Again, little tiny ledge makes me stand up for no reason. Uh, those guys, I don't know if they saw me, but I thought maybe the hunter would be around and catch a little bit of a glimpse of him down there. Um, you know he's coming. So, I'm pretending like I'm looking at the host. He's going to sneak up on me, but uh, I'm ready for him. And took him out before he, <laughs> he had a chance to do much of anything. You're not the sneaky guy. I am. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I liked that he uh, completely thought he was going to take me by surprise. And just didn't know, uh, didn't know who he was dealing with, I guess. Not that I'm that good, but uh, I'm good at being sneaky and knowing when someone else is trying to be. Uh, anyway, so now we walk into this. Uh, get a nice little 2v1 now the hunter's gone. Uh, get these guys attention and um, surprise surprise try to shoot some bubbles out into the world couldn't quite get this guy he's got a, a big axe with quick step uh, they're all rocking frost I'm rocking frost it's a uh, it's a chilly morning up in the uh, near near the lakes apparently um, he's just gonna keep on with the hoarfrost stomp sending the ice at me um, trying to make a little bit of space, seeing what I can do here. Um, they get some good aggression. They're trying to keep me uh, guessing that they're coming from the left to the right. That uh, carrying greatsword takes him out with a big wide sweeping arc. And, uh, you know, just being able to be a spellblade in Elden Ring has been so great. The amount of utility you get out of the different spells, whether it be a piercer, the hammer for that... Uh, the hyper army get the widespread but uh finish this guy off with the parry uh thankful for sneakiness thankful for gravity and just uh thankful for this game in general thanks for watching everyone have a good holiday